Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rentnard Studios Comics, and this is my show where I review comics, talk about the Kickstarters I've backed, and where you can back those Kickstarters also. Alright, so uh, I wasn't able to make any episodes Halloween, so um, these are the ones I read during that break. This is kind of Halloween-ish. Um, this is Hack Slash Omnibus that I got from Image Comics, and there is currently a Hack Slash Omnibus on Kickstarter. If, had I known that months ago, I wouldn't have ordered this, but it's too late now. I've got it. So, Hack Slash Omnibus is by Tim Seeley and a hundred or so artists and colorists and letters. And, um,. I lost my train of thought. A text from my wife. Anyway, so um, Hack, Hack Slash Omnibus is on Kickstarter right now uh, by Tim Seeley. You can back it and uh, get this. I didn't back it for the comic, but I am getting a bunch of pins, a set of four, that uh, are props from this comic, like the bat and uh, Vlad and Hack Slash. Or, Cassie Hack. Anyway, so I love pins, so it's cool that there was a pin thing that I was able to support the uh, Kickstarter for it. So Hack Slash is a... it's a whole bunch of short stories. Chock full of short stories. Let me see here. Let's just find this up. I'm trying to find something here. Uh, see, like, uh, she deals with uh, people like Chucky and Mike Myers, Freddy, and Jason, stuff like that. So basically, uh, when she was a little kid, her mom came back from the dead and was a slasher. And she had to kill her own mom. And she sets out upon the world, killing all slashers, things that come back from the dead to kill uh, teenagers and haunting and all that kind of stuff. Really cool stuff if you're a horror fan. Uh, all those movies I grew up watching, so it's cool to see something that kind of reminisces on all those things and whatnot. Really cool artwork. So many good artists in this book. Um, I've got to be careful showing you stuff because who knows what is appropriate. But yeah, there's tons and tons of cool art in here. Check out the Kickstarter from uh, Tim Seeley. I enjoyed reading this. I'm so glad I bought it. And uh, it was just a couple dollars more than uh, getting a couple of the trades. So I thought, why not? Why get the trades when I can get the Omnibus? So check out Kickstarter right now. Get the Omnibus from Tian Seeley. So many good artists on there. Now, I am on to Destiny New York short stories. I got a postcard with this. Uh, this is one I kickstarted long and long ago, and uh, it got lost in the mail. And Pat Shand, the uh, writer of Destiny New York, was cool enough to send me another copy, so I got this, put it in my big read pile, and I uh, finally got to it. Which I'm glad I got to it during Halloween because there was a couple of stories in here that were Halloween based. Like, um, well, there's a lot of them that are uh, kind of witch and necromancer based, so that was cool. A lot of cool artwork, and uh, that was uh, Ileana. Oh, never mind. That was Liana King, Kanga's art that I showed you there. Cool stuff. A lot of cool artists work on this one too. It's a bunch of short stories, different stuff that uh, Pat Shand put out during his career and uh, that were New Destiny New York based. As you know, I'm a fan of the Destiny New York stuff. I've got the uh, all the volumes and uh, Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl, Prison Witch, stuff like that. Little Girl, the, it's a scary one too. That one's a good one to read for Halloween. And uh, yeah, so I'm so glad that I was finally able to read this. Good stuff. There's even a Christmas story in here. Check that one out. Um, I think my favorite one was Feline. And uh, that's about uh, 
a girl that works at a marijuana dispensary and she goes and hangs out on a beach full of stray cats and yeah the artwork was really awesome in that the story was really awesome but there's a lot so many good art and stories in this that I definitely recommend checking this out so oh, I keep going to that same page so here's another page really cool stuff it's all uh, grayscale toner dot kind of art based stuff really good stuff um, so if you get a chance check it, find Pat Shand check out his Destiny New York series really good stuff I've I've been a fan of it for a long time now and uh, so I so I was glad to read this during Halloween there was a story in here where uh, the guys that work at the Green Bean coffee shop and that they went out trick-or-treating and stuff Let's see here yeah right here there's the Halloween stuff so that is Destiny New York um, got that postcard along with it to hang up cool stuff uh, yeah um, I should be reading Destiny New York uh, I think volume four or five is in my read pile next and uh, so yeah I'm getting to that soon next up on my that I've read this week as A Wild Cosmos by Curtis Clow. I should have reviewed this a couple weeks ago because the Kickstarter for Wild Cosmos issue 3 just wrapped up and uh, if you didn't get in on that I'm sorry but I'm sure you can contact Curtis Clow, find a copy of it. Um, one thing he did differently is the first time around Wild Cosmos was extra sized and this time it's standard comic book dimensions here so it I don't know how I feel about it I, I it was kinda cool to have a different size but also it's kind of a pain in the butt because comic book boxes are not this big but Wild Cosmos is a it's an awesome read um, it's kind of a space like if Tomb Raider and Indiana Jones were in space uh, this is really this is what you would get. Uh, we've got a Tomb Raider, and uh, she stole an artifact. Check this out; it's got an awesome uh, fold-out cover. So she is captured by a captain on this planet, and uh, she has a bounty on her head. She's being drugged along the the forest t with her hands tied up and stuff like that. So that's where we're at right now. So, yeah, uh, she's got the powers to heal. This uh, story, it was it went by so fast. Uh, it was so, such pa fast pace that I actually had to count the pages to make, because I'm like, wow, there's no way I read that that fast. But, yeah, it's a full 24 or 30-page comic, and uh, it's, I feel like I'm taking crazy it's got some good stuff in it, really good artwork, really good storytelling and it it could definitely be a TV series or a, a movie like top-notch storytelling in that um, oh so while I'm on on this so uh, let me tell you it is written by Curtis Clow art by Guillermo Fajardo colored by Brian Valenza and has letters by Tobin Ras Rasicot the cover here is by um, Mauro Mandelari, and the logo is by Lorenzo Blangiardo. Blangiardo? Sorry about my pronunciations, they're a little rough, but yeah, man, uh, that was good stuff to read, and yeah. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I forgot too is that... Uh, I got my name on the awesome uh, thank you page in Destiny New York so you go and look under G you'll find Gary Brantner of Rentnard Studios Comics right there so many people on this a uh, lot of backers for Destiny New York rightly so I mean geez check out Destiny New York and that's it for reviews for now now we'll go on to uh, 
what was in my mailbox this week. So, I got some good stuff in my mailbox. Oddly enough, two things from Charlie Stickney. I got the Adept. This is another Kickstarter back. And it came with a lot of goodies. Stickers, postcards, and a concert ticket. So that's cool. It actually looks like an actual concert ticket. Not that I know. I don't I haven't been to a concert since 2016. But, yeah. Um, so... I don't know if the uh, main character is a singer or something. I thought it was a kung fu story, so we'll see when that comes up in the read pile where The Adept by Charlie Stickney comes in. And uh, so that's from the mailbox. Next up from the mailbox is another Charlie Stickney, White Ash. This is White, I White Ash 5. Holy cow, they're getting up there, aren't they? So White Ash 5, got lots of postcards. Got a card, uh, what do they call those? Um, got a car smelly thingy, got a button, got a tie pin, stickers, got a sticker with a depth too. So yeah, I'm a big fan of stickers, tie pins, all sorts of weird stuff like that. And I also got in the mail, this one's from Scout Comics. I got, the, well, I think I kickstarted this one, yeah. But this is Snow White Zombie Apocalypse. It's got a postcard on it with it. And uh, this is Snow White. She wakes up in a world where uh, Prince Charming and Rapunzel are uh, zombie, zombie slayers. And she has to deal with that. So that's cool stuff. Can't wait to get that in my read pile. And I also got... Le Fay number three. So Morgan Le Fay is woke up in our time and she has to be an indentured servant to uh, these three witches that woke her up. And so she goes out. Basically she's a private investigator. Uh, she has to solve crimes and stuff and came with a lot of postcards and bookmarks. A lot of cool stuff. Baseball cards. More for the read pile. Now I am on to the Kickstarter section where I tell you what you can back right now. Okay, so I got a big old list of uh, stuff that you can back right now. Hackslash, as I mentioned during the thing, Hackslash Omnibus is on Kickstarter right now until November 25th by Tim Seeley. Check it out. Uh, it's You can follow him on Tim Hack and Seeley on the uh, Twitters. So check that one out. Oh yeah, and speaking of LeFay here, LeFay 4 is on Kickstarter right now by Marcel Dupree. That is on Kickstarter till November 25th. I am a backer of both of those. Here's another one I just backed. Um, the Encoded is on Kickstarter until November 27th. It is a Minority Port plus Purge which I haven't seen, and a uh, man versus machine kind of, you know, Matrix, Terminator stuff. The the typical stuff that you get when uh, people make AIs, and then they're like, oh, what if uh, these robots take over and try to kill us? So, every year they have a night where they turn off the machines, or maybe more than a night, who knows? I haven't read it yet. Um, so they turn off the machines so that they can't take overthrow us or something. This takes place in the year 2055, so I love a good story of future stuff, you know, like Spider-Man 2099 whatnot. So check out the Encoded. I got the Encoded plus a pin on Kickstarter. So that's on Kickstarter. What else is on Kickstarter? Got a lot of these that are done. Urban Animal Volume 1 is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, it is a webtoon that they turned into a comic. They're doing the printed form, so that sounds really cool. Uh, check out that. It's about a bunch of kids that can turn into animals. Fun stuff like that. The Stake, called Jessamy, Jessamy Number One. The Stake. Uh, the Stake is a vampire story. I re reviewed the first issue a little while ago, so this is the uh, first issue of Jessamy. He was also uh, in the Vampire Stake. 
That is on Kickstarter till November 12th. Frenemies Lost Planet is on Kickstarter until November 12th also. Check that one out. It's a, kind of a Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing. A bunch of kids that roleplay. They get stuck on a planet and they find out that they have to uh, do their roleplaying thing or what spellcasting, whatever they do to survive. And uh, Starlight number two is on Kickstarter until November 12th. Starlight is one that I really, really, really enjoyed the first issue, and so I backed the second issue. Let's see, I can't remember if I'm getting a pin with that one too, but it's very possible I'm getting a pin with that, or stickers. Uh, yeah, Starlight 2 is on Kickstarter until November 12th. It's about a bunch of kids that, uh, two kids that grew up as superheroes, but now that they're teenagers, uh, they have stopped being superheroes. And, uh, but they have to, they get thrown back into it because their parents get kidnapped by some cat looking aliens, and so they go into space to, uh, rescue their parents. Fun stuff like that. Alright, that's the end of Kickstarters. Um, if you have a Kickstarter going, and you say, hey Gary, will you, uh, talk about my Kickstarter? I say, sure as heck will! Send me a link, and I'll check it out. I'll probably back it, and I'll talk about it for sure on uh, on this show. So let me know about your Kickstarter. Uh, send me a link. Hit me up on Facebook, whatever. Just say, hey, dude, uh, I know you like to talk about Kickstarters, so check out mine. And if you've got a cool podcast or whatever, you can uh, hit me up. I'll listen to that, too. Or if you want me to be on your pos podcasts, check uh, hit me up, whatever. Uh, we can even do some video back and forth, all that fun stuff. So, what am I uh, speaking of podcasts? What am I listening to right lately? Um, I've been listening to Off Panel by Stitched Podcast, Sketched, Sketch.com does a podcast called Off Panel where they talk about the in and outs of making comics, interview artists and writers, all that stuff. Uh, Two Scout Geeks is another one that I'm listening to. It's from the House of Indie podcast, I think. I think they're connected. I can't remember now. Now that I'm in front of a camera. Yeah. Anyway, Two Scout Geeks uh, talks about everything from Scout Comics. And I read a lot of Scout Comics now. So it's pretty cool. I just barely um, bought uh, Oblivion Trade Paperback. So that's one I read the first issue on this show and uh, talked about. But now I'm getting the trade, the volume. Uh, it's a cool little story about aliens and uh, basically adults vaporizer, disappear, go to another dimension, something. So it, I thought it'd be cool to read that one. Uh, so check out Off Panel by Sketch.com, Two Scout Geeks, House of Indie Podcast, things like that. I'll talk about other podcasts I'm listening to later. Geek History Lesson is one that I also listen to. Oh, speaking of, uh, I was even mentioned on uh, the Geek Show podcast. I wrote a letter to them telling them that I was listening to one of their episodes and they read my letter on the on the air. Cool stuff. Uh, they're awesome. They're from here, my home state here, Utah. So it, it's really cool to hear from them. Um, I've been watching S.H.I.E.L.D., a lot. Uh, the last season dropped on Netflix, so I've been watching that a little bit. And oh, The Haunting of Bly Manor, speaking of Halloween, you should watch The Haunting of Bly Manor, whether it's Halloween or not. It's scary. It's very heartfelt. It'll, it brings me to tears watching it. Uh, it was pretty sad. I, I think it was more sad than scary, that's for sure. Um, it's from the same people that made The Haunting of Hill House, so yeah, that one made me cry too. I, I was stupid enough to watch that one the week my dad died, so that was a mistake. But then I watched it again. My daughters got older and they were like, hey, we want to watch something scary, so we watched it. Pretty good stuff. So watch The Haunting of Bly Manor. Check out S.H.I.E.L.D. S.H.I.E.L.D. is really cool. They're time traveling right now. So basically it's Legends of Tomorrow, but with S.H.I.E.L.D. because they're in a flying jet going through space and history and all that stuff. But I love it because, you know, it's got Clark Gregg in it. He's awesome. Can't beat that stuff. So that is a wrap for it. 
for now. Um, oh yeah, I thought I'd mention if you want one of these cool shirts, this is my Rentnarb face, you know, my logo that I'm always, yeah, this guy. I'm always showing you my little alien. If you want a shirt that looks just like this, go to redbubble.com, check it out. That's all I have for you now. I have a lot of shirts on there. So uh, I hope you guys were safe during Halloween. I hope you had fun with your families. I hope you voted. And I hope you're safe. Wear your masks. Only go out if you need to or go to work. All that fun stuff. Have a good night. And please check out all these comic books I've mentioned. Uh, they are all really cool. I haven't run into a whole lot that I didn't like. But if I do, I'll, I'll bring that one up too. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not one of those guys. So yeah, if I read something I don't like, I'm sorry if I didn't like it, but I will still talk about it if you want me to read your comic. Ah, I said I was gonna stop, and here I am still talking. Goodbye.